Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. It feels like packs are everywhere right now on FC24 inside of this Fantasy FC promo, especially with the SBCs that EA dropped yesterday. Guys, the menu grind, the crafting, fodder basically being free, it is back. The menu grind is so amazing right now. I want to take you guys through it today and the SBCs that will keep us logging in every single day of this week to get done for a chance at packing these FC24 fantasy cards and also crafting the SBCs are going to be coming out every single day because there's something that's not been talked about that much that I think people have missed about this promo. And we have to talk about the market because these fantasy cards are moving. Yesterday, a lot of them went up and then a lot of them went down. I want to take a look at some of those prices on the market and why they're moving like they are and look ahead to more content today. If you're excited for it, drop a thumbs up and subscribe if you're new. Now, SBCs was the big talking point yesterday, but I actually want to go to Evolutions first off to start off with the Evolution leak that we had on Friday that was finally dropped yesterday on Saturday. It was the Fantasy FC Assisting Winger. This is that left wing Evo that was max 83 shooting and it was exactly as leaked. Now the cool part is if you have a player that has a playstyle plus, you can make them two playstyle plus with this, right? You can tell as you see not many of my cards here that fit, but some of your guys' cards and some of the cards you're maybe doing in this Evo, since it is free and that is the best way to have Evos of course, you can have one playstyle plus on the card, which seems to almost be like a minimum. They're giving out more and more cards now with two playstyle pluses. You get pinged pass for this one. You get plus four shooting, plus five passing, plus two dribbling, two pace, and one physical. So it's an okay upgrade. It has four segments, which seems like a lot of segments in a lot of different games uh, just to get the upgrade that you're getting since it is just an, you know, an average upgrade. You do get incisive pass, which I think is one of the best playstyle pluses in the game, and it is free. So, I mean, it's 35% upvoted on Footbin. I think that's a little bit low. A free Evo, um, I mean, yes, it does restrict us a little bit. That 83 shooting was the is the big restricting part, and I think that was what we were kind of worried about when we saw the leaks, and it kind of came true. Now, there are some cards that are really popular in this, though, like this Cody Gakpo, the ice card from Versus Fire and Ice is extinct on the market because this version of him looks insane, right? Quick step and incisive pass. The only thing about this Evo that I will say that I think is a little bit weird is there's four different segments to it, but it only gives you one playstyle plus. You know, other Evos like would give you some playstyles as you get through the different segments. You get like a playstyle and then a playstyle plus at the end. This one only gives you a playstyle plus. So, you know, maybe there's a shout to it not being the most insane Evo. I just think the stats are a little restrictive. I mean, if they would have allowed us to upgrade somebody with higher than 83 shooting, that would have helped me out. I have left wings in my club that I would have evolved. Uh, but that Gagpo is a very popular one. Rodrigo is very popular as well. His inform is actually extinct on the market at 80,000 coins because of this evolution there. Um, I don't think this is one that, to me, I'm like, I got to do it right away. But I think it's a nice one. If there's somebody that you want to Evo through this, the fact that it's free and the fact that it is four segments, but it's like, I think it's like 12 games. That's not that bad. Maybe 12 to 15 games. That's not too bad of an Evo. So not too much to complain about there. It's nice to have Evos coming back out again. After the Future Stars, Evos were just all about the Academy one. So that is at least nice to see. Now, before we go to SBCs, we got to talk about the store, actually, guys, because there was some wild stuff dropped in the store. EA, I mean, you know how EA are going to work, right? They're going to go for that bag, and they kind of got a bag yesterday because they really got people into opening these player picks in the store. There's a halftime elite pack. You know, here's the one. Heroic halftime player pick, which is a player pick that contains heroes from the current promo. The Fantasy FC heroes are in this player pick, and I saw some crazy ones yesterday, but guys, you're literally paying 3,000 FC points, $30, for a hero player pick, one of three, you could get absolutely nothing from this, and it would be the most ripoff of an EA store pack player pick like ever. I, I do not recommend opening this player pick at all. It's enticing because it's got the new cards in it, but I would not do it. Uh, same thing with the one. There's like an icon one, too. There's one that gives out icons. I don't know which pack that is, but I would not open that one either just because... Guys, I don't think it's worth it, man. I mean, especially when it's a one of three. If you're going to open a big store pack, and especially if you're going to spend coins on a big store pack, open one that gets you like 50 or 70 players. You know what I'm saying? So, I mean, that this has some appeal, but that's just the EA way, man. They're going to try to get you to open those store player picks and packs. That one, I think I would 
not touch at all um, unless you like spending on the game and you have the funds to do so um, coins or FC points that one is a big big gamble with a lot of risk and a lot of disappointment and coming if you don't hit big but that was dropped yesterday there's a lot of people talking about that um and yeah that is the best um, hero player pick that we've seen so far in this game but of course it's fit 550k let's go to spcs now and start off with alex scott we did get the scott spc yesterday guys she upgrades for the women's arsenal side and uh it's a good card i mean three star skills four star weak foot it's a right back how often are you going to scale with your right back she has Energizer Plus, Relentless Plus, so she's never going to run out of stamina, which is perfect as a right back. She also has Jockey Plus, which is very good. Incisive Pass for through balls down the wing. Whipped Pass for crosses. Anticipate Plus, uh, Anticipate Regular, not Plus, for tackling. Rapid and Aerial as well. This is a really, really good card. Like, a fantastic card. Not Premier League links per se, but English links still. And, uh, I mean, it's not that bad. You need a Team of the Week in every single squad, which is one of the reasons why Team of the Week cards are exploding. Not the main reason, but one of the reasons. This SBC is coming in at 295,000 coins. And, um, guys, it's another good SBC. Like, this is a hero card again for links. It's a right back you can put in your team and you can leave it there for probably a while. Is this better than Cafu? I don't know. Like, if you have Kyle Walker like I have, I don't know if she goes into my team over Kyle Walker or even Cafu, whose SBC I'm still doing. That it feels like a little bit of a toss-up, but the two playstyle pluses is, is very, very nice, and it is a good card. If you don't have either those right backs and you want to put a card like hers into your team, it is very good, and it should last you a long time. Evidently, uh, a lot of people are a fan of this. 1,000 upvotes on the player, 75% upvote on the actual SBC as well, so it is good. And again, one of the reasons why this SBC is so good is the craftability of the menus right now. Before we get into that, let's look at some prices that dropped out. This is, again... We had this on on Friday with the evolution a little bit, and now we have it yesterday on Saturday with the SBC. Guys, substitutions. A substitute player is something that comes into the game that makes people replace what they had with the new card, right? We see that a lot in this game, right? A new SBC comes out, like Alex Scott, people want to do that, put that into their team, and they replace the whatever they had, right? Like this Lawrence card in the Women's Super League, very popular card, Chelsea Links. And very comparable to Alex Scott, but probably not as good. Goes from 102,000 coins, right? People say, I want Scott on my team. And then, boom, she goes down to 79K. She's being panic sold. Right backs across the game are being panic sold. That's just kind of the technical term, right? We see this a lot in this game, right? But it's called like a substitute. This card is a substitute for something that somebody else had in their team. And that's why you're seeing the other cards in that position and specifically in that position in that league uh, dropping off a lot in value now something else with player sbcs that we have to mention is i don't know if you guys missed it or not but look at this little tab here in the menus fantasy fc look out for new player sbcs dropping daily so i don't think that means we're getting a fantasy player every single day but i think we're getting player sbcs every single day verner day one Alex Scott, day two. We have Julie, the uh, hero card leaked so far. I think there's going to be another regular fantasy player or some other type of player SBC every single day this week by way of what that message reads. So that means great things for potential crafting opportunities later on this week. But it also does mean there's more opportunities, just like we saw with Alex Scott and other cards that have been dropped recently and probably we will continue to see during this week of potential substitute price drops. So watch out for that very carefully. Now, the reason why Alex Scott and some of the other SBCs are hyped even more after yesterday is because one of the favorite SBCs of the entire year came back. The 83 times 10. Whenever EA dropped the 83 times 10, repeatable three times a day, you know it's going to be a decent week because this is the like this is almost the uh, I don't know the staple of FC 23 in terms of grindable crafting SBCs. An 83 rated squad, you turn in one team of the week in an 83 squad, you open the pack, whatever you get from it, you put most of it back in, add a couple of cards that you can get from supplementing through other upgrade packs or rewards or other objective packs. Boom, you can do it three times a day. It is such an insane SBC and it's going to give you a chance at packing live and upgrading fantasy FC cards like what a better week to have this during this promo right now if you hit if you hit something big like a I don't know a Lacazette from yesterday's mini release a Delict a Griezmann Ferland you know you're not going to have a great chance at those cards but the fact that you have a pack that you can do every single day for those 
is fantastic. It really just unlocks the crafting on the menus this week, which is freaking phenomenal. So GG's to EA with that. Also with that, and all the inform requirements we had yesterday, informs went from like 21,000 coins, 20K-ish, to 27K. They absolutely exploded because of the demand in the Alex Scott SBC and the 83 times 10. It is absolutely unbelievable how much these cards went up. I also think these cards went up a little bit extra because now myself is included inside of this. Maybe you had a bunch of team of the weeks in your club after team of the year, but we've kind of worked through that. You know, all the SBCs that we've had that have required team of the years, if you've been, or team of the weeks, if you've been crafting icon picks, any of the other upgrade SBCs, player SBCs, some of them have required team of the week cards. And I think it's slowly drained a lot of those untradeable team of the weeks that most of us had in our club from doing the team of the week player pick on repeat during team of the year. Um, we're out of those now. And I think that's why some Team of the Weeks went up even further than we were maybe expecting them to go. But I think that Team of the Weeks are going to be safe in price and be inflated for the whole rest of this week because of all the SBCs that are A, coming, and B, the 83 times 10 that is still there. But again, guys, this makes this SBC, the 83 times 10 makes every single player SBC, even if it's technically overpriced, it makes it a whole lot more craftable. Whatever is dropped throughout the rest of this week is going to be semi-craftable or a lot more craftable because it's 83 times 10 which is freaking phenomenal so ggs ea for that that really this the combination of this the 81 plus player pick that is still out for another day and the crafting upgrade that was dropped yesterday is just absolutely insane for packs and fodder on these menus let's talk about this crafting upgrade because until the 81 plus player pick goes away i wouldn't do anything else but this for the value this is the one for sure even with this being out i would still just do the 81 plus player pick for right now it's only another day until this goes away and i don't think it'll be refreshed with the 81 double and this crafting upgrade both here but with the crafting upgrade here for the rest of this week later on one rare and the rest of the squad gold commons is still a good value um, upgrade pack, in my opinion. It's not the best of value, but you get three players back. They're 77 rated and above. And, of course, all that while you're working towards a objective that gives you even more packs. Every 10, basically every 10 to 15 completions, you're getting something in here, right? 10, 15, 20, I guess it's every five. Every five completions of the crafting upgrade, you're getting something. And then as you get towards the top, it's every 10, uh, and there's some different increments in there. But you do get a solid 83 times 20 for finishing the whole thing off. You get an 83, 10, 81, 11, multiple 83 times 10s inside of there. Uh, especially towards the end, the packs get pretty, pretty good. And it's out for two weeks, so... You don't have a ton of time to do it, to be completely honest. You got to get it done pretty fast. But I think that's why I would still uh, focus on that after the 81 plus player pick for optimal fodder. And then after that, then you can work through this. I mean, I don't know how many SBCs that comes out to per day, but if you have 14 days to do this, technically you got to do like 10, 10 or 11 per day to get you to 150 done. So if you can try to work on that as an average goal, you can do that. And once again, guys, don't forget the daily gold upgrades are still here. They are still your friend. I have mine favorited so that I don't forget to do it, which I almost will. But it's still out for 20 days. So throughout the entirety of that crafting objective and SBC, make sure you're doing this to get some easy gold players and then do the bronze and silver ones to get what you need to turn in for this. So that's just an easy uh, an easy craft and an easy grind this week if you want to put some time into the game and you're going to get so much fodder. Guys, the menus are back, okay? Like... With fodder that is so available from SBCs and fodder that is so available from the cup mode, um, again, the upgrade crafting completionist, we have the champs bonus, we have got packs available to us literally everywhere we look in this game. It is, it is nice. Like, this content grind is about as good as it gets. So we have to say at least GG's to EA for that. If you want to put in the work, if you want to put in a little bit of time, you can get some really good packs, have a chance at packing live cards, and, of course, be able to craft whatever SBCs that come out in the next couple of days and throughout this next week with the craft that is there. So for that, we absolutely give EA a little bit of a GG and say thanks for that good content because this is good content 100%. Now, let's take a look at the uh, re-release, the mini-release, not re-release, the mini-release that was put out yesterday on Saturday. We have Carl from the women's Freiburg side. We have Lacazette and we have Acuna. 
two really solid cards here with Acuna and Lacazette. Uh, for sure, Lacazette, this is such an EA move, man. I tweeted this out yesterday right after I saw this card drop because, man, this card should be an 89 because he scored on Friday, but his card was not live. Again, the fine print reads from EA's website, when the card is dropped into the game, that day they're dropped is the day that they are live and can receive upgrades. So since he was not dropped on Friday and he was dropped on Saturday and Leon played on Friday, his next game or his first game hasn't even counted yet. So he's on no upgrades, which is a little unfortunate, but this is a decent card. Power Shot and First Touch Plus. That's a combination that EA really liked to release. He's got Finesse though, Technical and Aerial, and a pretty sizable stat boost there for him off his Centurions, plus six pace. Very nice there for Lacazette. Also have to shout out Acuna. This card, I mean, man, what is it with the Argentinian left back and right back in this promo? Molina and Acuna both look cracked. Pinged pass plus and whipped pass plus. He's only 45,000 coins, a little bit lacking on the pace. Um, and yet again, another Acuna live card. I didn't even think about that. We've got the 88 road to the knockouts and the 89 uh, FC fantasy card. He's also got power shot, anticipate, bruiser, long ball, flare, relentless, Travella. A insane, insane card, high, high work rates, and they gave him a skill move boost too. He's 4-4. Four, four. So you could actually use him in the midfield too if you wanted. And he's got a big game today. Sevilla play against Real Madrid for his first, I guess you could you could say potential upgrade. They're definitely not favorites in that match. But if something crazy were to happen today, this card would go up a crazy amount in value. So that's just one thing I will point out. Uh, be very careful with these cards. And that's what I want to talk about next is the price of these fantasy FC players. But uh, be careful with him because he's got a game today. And you know, there's a lot of upside. There's also a lot of downside, especially for cards that are expected to win that maybe don't because we saw that happen multiple times yesterday. And even cards that were expected to win that did win are going down just because there was so much hype built up into the game. A lot of times you see this with live cards is they drop after the game. We talk about it with Road to the Finals. Let's take a look at some of these prices. Jack Grealish is 560, 570,000 coins. Now, he is very rare, and these cards do like to bounce around a lot. Like, I'm tempted even to buy this Grealish right now uh, for like 550, 560 because he's rare enough after dropping off 300k yesterday he could easily go back to 600k but there's a lot at 600 there or at least a few so i might not risk it doesn't seem like it's worth it for how much i'd be paying and the fact that he is injured and people probably know that a bit more now but here's an example right city they won yesterday right against bournemouth so one win chalked up on their first game grealish did not play though but look how high he was he went from 700k to 900,000 coins after the game, after content too, absolutely tanks down to 550,000 coins. And again, they won. Same thing with Delict. I sold my Delict yesterday for 1.37. Sold him too early, to be honest. He went all the way up to 1.6 at one point, which was disgusting. Now he's back down to the 1.2 million coin range, but they won. They didn't keep a clean sheet, so he doesn't have an upgrade coming right away, but they did win. So it is one, like half of an upgrade already checked off for him. But then you have the flip side of the coin. And the flip side is a team that did not perform as expected, like Atletico Madrid. They played Almeria, and they're 18th in the league. This card went from 86,000 coins down to 47K because they did not keep a clean sheet and they did not win. So no progress towards upgrades for Molina or for Antoine Griezmann, which is why they've both dropped off like crazy. Guys, the best advice I can always give you with these sorts of live cards is sell into the hype. Guess who's up on deck today? Shalhanoglu and Inter, of course, along with side of Acuna and Sevilla. Sell this card in the hype, guys. Yesterday, Shalhanoglu went from 313 up to 400k he's now 430,000 coins if inter win today he's probably still going to drop that's just how it works because so many people have invested in this card in my opinion it is overpriced uh it's too expensive i was lucky enough if you saw my tweet late last night i was lucky enough to pack him from a random 84 times four from somewhere in objectives so i have this card on my side and i'm i'm, I'm rooting for him like i'm hoping that he gets wins and stuff but I just think this price is going to drop down. So sell that one in the hype. Anybody who is playing today that did not play yesterday, I think maybe PSG plays today as well, sell that in the hype. Ferland Mendy, sell that in the hype, guys. Konate, I will tell you right now, some people are going to believe this card is playing today, which Liverpool is big game today, right? For the showdown, this card does not get upgrades for the game that is happening today guys it is only the domestic league games this is a cup match of course the cup final that they're playing today so this card does not uh get upgraded for this game but 
he'll probably move. If Liverpool score, he'll probably go up uh, just because it's a live card. So, you know, people think in that way. Um, also, I did want to point out, Rudy Voller is still extinct at 380,000 coins. But Werder Bremen drew yesterday, which is, again, one less game for him to potentially get an upgrade. So uh, that's that. A lot of these cards are down, as you would expect. Day two of a promo, whether it's a live card promo or a regular one. These cards have dropped down a bit after some supply has hit once again after another day. Uh, Foot.gg has not updated their tracker yet because, again, Delict, it should say two wins. It should say one left because he did get a win. So uh, we're still waiting on a foot bin tracker as well. I think they're still working on that. I didn't see one on the website when I just checked. Um, but there are trackers here. Uh, that are coming and probably getting updated. It's a lot of information and a lot to keep track of so I can understand why it takes a while uh, for those trackers to get updated. The moral of the story is sell under the hype on these live cards and just be very, very careful because I think a lot of them still are overpriced and expensive. Of course, yesterday, right, Griezmann was like 7 mil. Mendy still being this price is like dumb to me. Marquinhos being this price as well, sell that in the hype, all right? Again, even if they win, they're probably going to drop down in price as we saw with Delict and Grealish. Uh, so same thing with Chalhanoglu. Selling the hype on those today. I also noticed that like Chloe Kelly and um, this would also go for Alex Scott. Their games don't start until March because right now the women's teams are not playing league games at the moment. So like this is a card that I probably wouldn't hold on to either because she does not play for um, at least another week. So that's one thing to kind of point out and watch as well, now, with yesterday's content being as good as it was with the 83 times 10s and everything going on, how did the market react? There were some price drop-offs on the market for sure. And even on some of those cheap cards that we talked about trading with in yesterday's video, um, a lot of people, I think, sold some of these cards that they maybe bought for their cup teams. Like, look at Alan St. Maximin, 55K. He was 70K yesterday when we looked at the video. Um for cards that were going up because of the cup mode, right? There's still great demand for the cup mode. And I would tell you that if you're trying to quick flip cards on the market, that's the part of the market that I would look at. But I mean, you can tell that the market was hit yesterday, especially some of the most recent cards like Future Stars. Olise was, uh, he is down. He's like 77,000 coins after being uh, like 85 to 87K. He's down like 10,000 coins a card. Hoyland is down a little bit. Um, Nico Williams, Rico Lewis is down, of course, but that's because he's a right back. Xerxy is down. Um, that's down actually a good amount. Zaire Emery is down some too. I look at the Future Stars icons. Beckham's 1.2 mil. He was 1.4. Rivaldo is down. Smith is down. So you're seeing that a the market was definitely impacted by how good content was yesterday. People selling some cards. Wow, Boniface is 280. Um, just seeing that price for the first time in a minute. Goulart's 39,000. Lukiba's 105k. That is a crazy card for 105,000 coins. Just gonna straight up and say that. That is a crazy card for that price. But the market did take a hit. And if we're getting daily player SBCs, I'll say it again. Uh, be careful because this could continue to happen on cards that are affected by whatever SBC we get that day, if it's decent value, even if it's a little bit expensive, again, it's craftable to 83 times 10, that could hurt some prices later on this week with the other player SBCs that we get. But still remember that those low tier cards, 87 rated and below, especially 85 to 87 that are meta for the cup, they will be in very good demand. I would also shout those out uh, tomorrow on like late Sunday tonight, but into tomorrow and into Tuesday as well as people finish their foot champs games and then go and play the cup. Cause I'm sure that people are prioritizing foot champs a little bit first and then wanting to go into those cup games for the great free packs that are in there as well. Now what's coming today? What's going to make us get excited about today? And that's what I want to talk about next because um, we do have one leaked SBC. And again, you know, you know the drill, right? We go from the icon player pick to the hero player pick and the icon player pick actually refreshed yesterday. I forgot to talk about that in yesterday's video. And it did make some fodder kind of stay inflated. 85, sixes, sevens are a little inflated in price because this refreshed. Um, the bad news is I don't think this is coming back today, right? We go the one week on, the one week off. Well, if this is the week after the icon player pick, it means we're getting a hero pick. And this is the leak right here. 87 plus base triple threat UCL hero player pick. I can already see Twitch chat saying L, 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 SBC, right? Because this is just, it's not as hype. Let's just keep it a buck 50. Base heroes at this stage of the year? No, I don't want to pack base heroes. I don't think this SBC will be that hype, but it will be craftable and people will do it because of the 8310 and all the upgrade packs that are out right now. If you're going to invest for this one at all, I'd have to say the only spot where I'd really think to invest would probably be 84s. 
I mean, I don't know how expensive it's going to be. Maybe an 85 and 86 rated squad with an inform. 85s, yeah, maybe you could invest in those as well, but they're already inflated. 86s are up. 87s are up as well. And I just think that the icon player picks, you guys know and agree with this too, right? The icon player picks have so much more demand and so much more hype than a hero player pick does this year. So I wouldn't even know if I would invest for the hero player pick. I would more so maybe try to invest in 84s because they're just low compared to everything else. And if we're getting more player SBCs later on this week, those could be a part of the market that maybe up in price go up in price depending on what these player sbcs require they just look lower to me compared to the 85 sixes and sevens and i don't know man with the with the icon pick going away i would love to say like oh we could get some more sbcs that would make 85s to 88s go up as well but with these being inflated especially 86s and 87s I would just be like, I don't know. They could go up some more this week. If you want to risk it, I think maybe the 85s would be the place to risk it on. But I think 86s and 7s, they're just really expensive. But again, we're getting a lot of SBCs and the craft is on. So people are going to spend more for those types of players to get SBCs done. So if you want to get in on fodder on the low tier, I like 84s, maybe 85s the best. And I'm also going to shout out again the 89s and the 90s. Uh, 89s because of the um, exchange SBCs. That's another great part of the crafting status of this game right now is if you get high rated duplicates, like I know all of us agree we need an expensive player SBC to craft into right now. We need something to like just chip away at and grind, right? But if you uh, just want to put your coins into something, uh, and just wait for the longer term. 89s, I bought a few last night at like 27, 28,000 coins. I don't think I'm going to be able to get them there anymore. They're starting to slowly go up. I just feel like even without a big SBC that is leaked or anything like that, putting a couple of these in your transfer list is not a bad idea. I cannot believe what I'm seeing here. Kevin De Bruyne is 50, 49,000 coins. That is crazy. 49, 50,000 coins for a 91 rated card. That is the lowest it's been during the entire year. I'm going to have to pick one or two of those up and put that on my transfer list as well, um, especially as I'm going away for a couple of days, about a week. Um, not tomorrow, but on Monday. We'll talk about that more tomorrow a little bit. But um, this is a good investment that I'm looking at even right now. Like I might just buy one, put it on my transfer list so that hopefully in a week, content is a little bit better and keeps getting better and we get a big sbc that people want to craft and maybe those cards could go up i can't i can't imagine that these high rated cards like this just stay this low forever like 49.5 for holland if i get this bid off looks like the menus are going to fraud on me but that's just so low man so it looks like the game is going to crash on me here so that is what it is last thing i talk about in terms of fodder with the market and stuff going on today Another player SBC, it's going to be leaked before content. I don't know who's going to leak it. I don't know who the player is. I don't think that is Giuli. Uh, again, that is the the hero that Romania leaked. I doubt that we get back-to-back -back days of a uh, fantasy hero SBC, but it's, prob it's possible. I think we get a regular fantasy player today, or maybe they just give us some other sort of player SBC. Again, that little message in the menus to me seems like it just could be any player SBC, not necessarily just a fantasy player sbc so we will just have to see but other than that i think they gave us such a big day of content yesterday on this game that i don't know how crazy today is going to be the 83 times 10 refreshes the crafting is still there um and the store duplicate storage is still there all that good stuff verner is still a good craft i think more and more people are actually doing verner because of uh, the craftability of the menus right now. So we'll see if they drop us a banger player SBC today. And of course, today is the cup final day. So um, if you did the SBC for Jackson or McAllister, today is your day to see if your upgrade is realized. So be watching out for that very, very carefully. And yeah, I think that's about it, guys. We have squad battle rewards today as well. I mean, minor detail, but squad battle rewards, I mean, you know, people are all about that, getting those rewards in, getting those golds in. A lot of us have been doing Evos as well. Um, so you get those extra packs, which is always nice at the very least. Watch these cards. I know that I'm saying sell them in the hype and all this stuff. 1.2 flat for Delict right there. These guys fluctuate like crazy, man. I was thinking about buying Delict because he's very rare to 1.3. Uh, Lacazette has gone from 400,000 coins to uh, 500k and then went back down to 400 and now he's 440 again. These cards fluctuate a ton because they're very rare. So watch out for those sorts of trades and fluctuations as well. But that's the video for today, guys. If you did enjoy, drop a thumbs up on it. Comment down below if you have any questions and subscribe if you're new. It's been Nathan for the account. See you guys in the video tomorrow. Peace. Out.